Hello again, everybody. Welcome back once more to Siberia. Now, remember at the end of video two, we made some uh, wooden legs? Well, I've got some bad news. I'm afraid we've made the wrong wooden legs. They're made of the wrong material. I'm pretty sure if I hand these over to Oscar, they either won't fit or he'll just decline them. I'm not sure. Let's find out. <laughs> of course, you get out of your jacket. Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. I think I have. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, don't put him back! Why'd you put him back in your jacket? Oh, you didn't. Okay, <laughs> fine. They've just gone into the deep, dark void that is Kate Walker's jacket. Yes, the uh, the material is incorrect, unfortunately. I wasn't really too concerned with it. I was just so surprised the machine was working to begin with. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, the cutscene made me think I was on the right path. But, no, if we have a look at the personal file, actually, if we have a look at the advertising brochure, you'll see on page two... Yeah, here we go. This is the wood I need to make the legs out of, and this is not what I chose. Uh, this wood is ebony imported from Madagascar, and it's apparently for the most sophisticated ones, as it says down there. And I don't know about you, but I think that Oscar is a sophisticated automaton, so... I'm afraid that means we have to go and do the entire process again, so... Let's head back up to the panel and try it again. Okay, so it's this type of wood, apparently, and that seems to match this here, so... Let's give this a try instead. Ah, okay. Oh, we didn't see this last time. Oh, so it's like an extended cutscene if you get it right. Thank you very much to the people that pointed that out, by the way. I knew something was wrong, I just didn't know exactly how to solve it. But yes, the, uh, the brochure does lead you in the right direction. So those automatons are just there to hold it? Okay. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. okay. They look very similar to the ones I created, honestly, but apparently they're a different material, so let's go down, pick them up, and let's try those with Oscar. Here you go, my good man. Would you prefer these wooden legs? They don't seem to match up with the rest of his body, but... No. Oh. <laughs> Here are there you your go. feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Ah, oh, she Kate said something Walker. different. Hey! I managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Of course I did. Who do you think I am? Oh, they slot right in. Perfect fit. <laughs> Little thumbs up. Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. <laughs> they really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Oh? Where are you going? I must find my train. Oh, right. Its departure is imminent. Okay. I suppose I should find this train as well. It's got to be somewhere nearby. <laughs> Off he goes, then. Should I just follow him? Well, I suppose now that he's fixed, we might actually be done with the factory area. There's two other areas that I can go to from outside from that fountain, so... Perhaps I should take a look. Okay, so here we are again. So that's the factory. That's the area where that battery thing was picked up. Just out of interest, what happens if I go this way? Can you run? No, she doesn't want to run this way. <laughs> I've sprinted down here. Maybe she's, she's just puffed out. Ooh. Oh, hang on, this could be the train station. This could be where Oscar went. Kinda does look like a train station. Is that all made of glass? Kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that sign above the door says Valadolin. Or Valadolin, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's go in, let's go in. I am assuming I'm gonna bump into Oscar again. Alright, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just sort of scan the area with this little halo thing, see if we can find anything. Um, I'm assuming that, you know, if and when I do need to go to Siberia, probably not an if, it's probably a when, I'm probably going to use the train. So, yeah, it's probably best that we did get Oscar fixed and everything. Do I have to get a ticket? Is there anyone working here? No, probably not. I don't think there's anyone, like, human in this area. It's just automatons. There is a door, though. Perhaps we have to go back and sort of do it ourselves. 
No need to go down there. Of course. No need to go down there, of course. Sure. A few, uh, a few posters and such. Ah, that could be our way on the train. Let's see. We can go up there. And we can go down here. Okay, let's let's go under at the moment. Yeah, sort of underneath the uh, the walkway. Can we keep going any further? No? I guess that's where Oscar went, but I can't seem to follow him. Uh... Okay, nope, that's that's it. I guess let's let's go up, shall we? Have a look at the walkway. This is great. I do love the style of this game. It's uh, it's very appealing. And it came out in 2002 as well, 2003. It's pretty good. Oh shit. Is that a real human being? He's whistling! I wouldn't have thought that an automaton would be whistling. That'd be like strange programming, you know? Let's go say hi, I suppose. Nothing over here to have a look at, I don't think. Hey, yeah! I think so. Some old guy sweeping up? Sure, hi. Can we... no? Nope, he doesn't interest us, apparently. We don't want to ask him any questions, introduce ourselves, nothing like that. What's this? Oh, we're going down this way. Okay, yeah, let's, let's let's keep going down this way. Some other areas to have a have a sit down and wait for the train. Okay. That's it. Nothing in the bin down there. No, we can't actually go any further either. All right. Uh, not much here. And as I said last time, I think she doesn't seem to want to examine most things. So yeah, let's head back. Um, can we? I guess we can head under this walkway as well. Yeah. Oh, hello. We got some tools. Pickaxe, shovel, or an entrenching tool or something? Nope. Don't want to pick that up. Again, it looks like I can get onto that carriage. But we can keep going, so let's keep going. Under the walkway. Okay. We've Oh, hello, hello. We've got Ah, we've got two things we can use here. We've got a lever and a valve wheel. Let's uh let's use the lever to start with. What happened? What did that do? Did that do anything? Let's try the valve wheel. I don't know if that did anything, to be honest. Maybe it's not working. Oh, hang on, hang on, wait, wait. What the hell is this? Uh, maybe now that that's been extended, the lever will do something with that? Oh, I see, yeah, on the left. Wait, it's going... Don't tell me that this entire train is wind up. No way. Or maybe that's just to start it or something. That's pretty funky. I'm assuming this is the same train, by the way, that Hans designed. That was the sort of blueprint that we picked up. Okay. Can we actually go past? Is it going to close line us? Oh, let's um, retract it if possible. Can we do that? Now that I've wound it up. Okay. <laughs> right. Alright, so I can't get up to, uh, to this side either. But we can go to this carriage, so let's have a look. Yeah, let's get in. Get in, get on. Can we go inside? I have a feeling we'll have to at some point, but I don't know if we uh, we need to right now. Right, okay. Well, yeah, looks like it. We can try the door at the very least. Blimey! And, oh hey! There he is! Okay, I thought I'd be at the front, but never mind. Um, Hi. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. <laughs> Even if you are my first and only passenger. Ah. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. I was just trying to help you out. And there we go. We can talk to him with a. We can talk to him about everything again. It seems, apart from production, because we uh, we sort of sorted that out for him. I think we'll be retreading old ground if we do, though, so let's Don't close this. For one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar, <laughs> but I have to go. Good excuse. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Of course, of course, yeah, doors won't stand in front of themselves. So, what have we got down here? Anything? Just like a little uh, table down there? We can keep going in the carriage. Nice. Onboard fans, okay, nothing down here. Let's keep going. All right, uh... We can use this. Oh, do we twist it? What is it? These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Oh, it's a shelf. Oh, okay. I thought I'd have to turn that. It looks like a valve wheel of some sort. We got. Oh, hang on. 
I can use this as well. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Right. Wait. So everything in this room is made for valuable objects, are they? Like, what's over here? Have we got anything over here? Just more of these sort of stands. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. All right. Okay. Well, I'm getting that. Do we have any valuable objects? We have a a music cylinder. We've got cogs. Music cylinder. Wow. Okay. What about the cogs? Can we put them down there? No. Just the music cylinders. Are they some sort of, like, collectible, then? Interesting. Um... I kind of want to keep it I on me, though. I that for the time being. Oh. Oh. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. We're just going to leave them there. It's a nice little storage area for me. And that confirms it. When we're coming back here, we'll definitely be taking a ride on this train at some point. Right. Let's get out. Um, can we have a look at this one? No, we cannot. But we can keep going. This is great. Ah, these might be my sort of personal quarters, right? This is my own personal carriage. No bottle of bubbly in there? Not yet, anyway. I can't go to sleep. Okay. I suppose that's the end of the carriage, and I can't get out right now. Nothing to actually have a look at, unfortunately, in here. But there you go. I will be returning just later on. Can we go around the outside? No, no. So, so that's it, I think. There's nothing else to explore in the train station. And um, we're not going to take a journey quite yet. There's still more things left to explore in Valadolene, I guess. Okay, so back down here, back to the fountain. And there's one more route to take on the right, isn't there? Yep, yeah, just next door to this one over here. Where does this go? Wow. Okay. Is this where Anna Vorlberg stayed? This is her own little mansion? I'm assuming so. Let's see then. Okay, nice little statue there. Can't go to the left. We can go to the right, and we can, of course, have a look at the, uh, the front door here. I'm more inclined to just walk around the back for some reason, but let's just try the front door. I don't know what it is with me, but whenever I'm introduced to a big place like that, I want to have a look at the surroundings before I go inside. And we might be Door's forced locked. to. Yeah. I've still got to get in there. Okay. Or perhaps there's a side door or a back door. Something like that. Yeah, looks like after all that, we have to go around the outside. Alright. Okay, now, <laughs> anything hidden in the grass here? Don't think so. Let's just keep going. Right, it's around the back of it. What a big place this is. And what's up with that ladder? Uh, let's take a look at this. Or, or at least go next to it. What on earth? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Looks like I can use this. I need a key. I need a key. Not a cog, but I need a key. Okay, fair enough. What about that actual door over there? Do I need a key for that? Let's take a look, come on. Fingers crossed. Oh, no. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. So, she locked the mansion, but she didn't lock the factory, it seems. Fair enough, fair enough, okay. Can we just keep going? The path does extend to the right a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we can. Oh, my God. Okay, so the mansion has its own little hedge maze. Well, I'm going to get lost. Let's just take a look, shall we? Let's go in and, and see what we find. And, oh, hang on. Hey, it's another real person. Oh, but this one I can, like, examine or talk to, maybe. Good morning. Hey. You've got a magnificent garden here. Ooh, she's going to knock you out, Kate. Get back. Oh, please, don't talk about it. <laughs> Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. Well, I suppose so, but as I've demonstrated, it's not all that difficult to keep the factory going, providing there's loads of punch cards. Maybe I could make her a new gardener. I don't know. That's that, then? I guess so. Okay, so we have a, a lovely marble statue over there. Is that like a pond or something? 
Yeah, it seems so. Oh, it's <laughs> missing half its head and an arm. Uh, amongst other things, I guess. Nothing down there? No, we're not going to be fishing or anything? No, no key. That's kind of what I'm looking for, honestly. Um, okay, this way then. Right, is this the entrance to the hedge maze? Could be. Okay, <laughs> oh my goodness, right. Uh, do we keep going, or, or what do we do? I don't know. We do have two choices here. Let's let's go with the open gate one. Let's go this way. Okay. Uh, is this another fountain? Or what are they called? Fonts? Something like that. Oh, hang on! That's the key. Maybe not the key for the door, but that's the key for the ladder thing, right? That's... hang on. That's the Vorlberg key. That's the same one that was in the advertising brochure. I'm pretty sure that's that one. I knew that was going to come in handy. There you go. Okay, so... We can go back and uh, perhaps fix the ladder? I guess we need to use the ladder to get in or something. Okay, fine, sure. Um, we don't have to get this working or anything like that, no. Whenever I see something like this, I'm actually... I, I, always, think of, I always think back to a Professor Layton puzzle. If you've played the second game, you probably know which one I'm talking about. I don't know why. It's a very easy puzzle, but it frustrated the shit out of me. Alright, let's try this gate now. I'm kind of hoping it's unlocked because... I don't know why, but I really want to get lost in the maze. No point. Oh. It's locked. Okay, I, I, <laughs> just out of interest. It is a key of some sort. No, okay, I'm not actually using it, so that's that's not the key I'm looking no for. No point. It's locked. Okay, that's probably for the best. Just saving me some time so I don't get lost for 20 or 30 minutes. Anyway, we do have the Vorlberg key, so I think let's go back to that ladder. Oh yeah, look look up that. There's, there's an open window, I'm pretty sure. Is that going to extend to that or something? Let's see. The Vorlberg key. There you go. It's the perfect fit, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only window that's open as well. Bloody hell. Um, you might want to get that gardener to just, like, step on the bottom of the ladder. I don't know why. Just seems safer that way. I suppose that's what the machine's for. <laughs> nice little step up before you go to the main event. Alright. I guess she doesn't have vertigo or a fear of heights, because she did that pretty well. Okay, so we're in the Vorlberg Mansion. Let's begin. Let's, uh... I don't know, can we go this way? We can go this way, let's see. Uh, we can keep going, there's a chest over there. Are they plates to examine? No, I think I'm just sort of going back on myself. Let's keep going, let's keep going this way. Okay, right, pretty dark here, honestly. Um, can't see too much, we've got a light. Oh, hang on, can I use the light? Hey, perfect, okay. What was that? <gasps> oh, it's Momo! Mamas. You draw mamas for Momo? Ah, Momo, it's you. You scared me. He wants a mammoth drawing? What? Um, hi, Momo. He climbed in after me, I suppose? What are you doing in here? Momo want mamas picture, like Hans picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mammoth for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? <laughs> I don't think I... Oh, no, he's giving me the paper. And the pencil? Uh, possibly. Okay, well, now we can actually talk to him. Let's just go through everything. Uh, just in case he doesn't know who I am yet. You remember me, don't you? I'm Kate. Draw mammoth for Momo. Please. You must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am. <laughs> See, it's kind of my job, you know, to get involved. But don't mind me. Just carry on with what you're doing. Momo not mind. Anna kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. Okay. The mission. You're a sweet kid, Momo, but I can't draw. Least of all, mammoths. Draw mammoth easy. Hans draw mammoth. Anna draw mammoth. Kate too. I mean, 
Maybe I could do a quick squiggle of a box, say, that has a mammoth inside. Mm. No, Momo want a real mammoth. Right. My goodness, you are one stubborn boy. How detailed does this drawing have to be, really? I don't know. Um, help? There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First, you draw mammoth for Momo. Yeah, he's making it and abundantly clear you, that's that's what he's me. after. Right? Mm, Momo know Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoth for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. Ah. I've got a secret? First, draw mammoth for Momo. Okay, okay. All right. Um, sure. Let's just back out of this because I have a feeling that whatever subject I pick, he's just going to keep going on about this damn Momo, mammoth. I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Okay, so let's just see. We do have a pencil and paper. So I can use it with something. Um, do I need a table or a desk or something like that to use it with? Can't use it with myself or anything. Um, I don't know. Tell you what, I'll come back to you, Momo. I, I will, I promise. Let's just go over here, though, because I did, you know, turn on this light. Did it reveal anything at all? Oh, I thought I could examine some of this stuff, honestly, but no, never mind. Is there anything here? Uh, a few tools and stuff. Uh, not too much, I don't think. Well, I think we're just leaving. That was just a good excuse for Momo to sneak in. All right. Well, can we go past Momo? We can go past Momo. Okay, hopefully he just sort of stays there. So what have we got here? Anything? No? Oh, we got a bureau. Or a desk. Something like that. Yeah, it's a desk. Oh, hello. We have... What is this? It is an ink bottle. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, but it... we have a pencil and paper, not a pen and paper. I thought that might have been what we were missing, but no. Okay. And we also have a book. Anna? Sure. Is it like a diary or something? Um, am I going to read this? Let's see. Uh, probably not. Oh, bloody hell, look how long this is. Right, let's just go back to the beginning. Um, tell you what, I will give you about five seconds on each page to just pause the video and read it yourself. And uh, I'll read it after the video is done. Okay, so here we go. Bloody hell. She doesn't really stop, does she? I didn't realise she was such a prolific writer. Well, I can say is it's a bloody good thing I didn't start to read this aloud. I wouldn't have a voice. Is it ever going to end? We're at 1938! This is unbelievable. Okay, that's it! That is actually the end! Right, there- I don't know how many pages. How many times did I click? Like 20 times? That's outrageous. There's like 30 or so pages to have a look at. Um, there could be something very, very vital to what I'm doing in this book somewhere. I'm not sure. I think I did see the word mammoths a few times. Bloody hell. We do keep it with us, don't we? Personal file? We do. Okay, I'll probably have to take another look at that at a later date or maybe doing it while editing. In fact, there was like 30 or so pages in there. And considering that some of that could be really vital to what we're doing right now, 
Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching part three of Siberia. I'll come back in part four with some bullet points, just in case you didn't want to read all that, because I'm sure a lot of you don't. And, um, well, hopefully after that we can draw a mammoth for Momo. See you then. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, don't put him back! Why'd you put him back in your jacket? Oh, you didn't. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I sprinted down here. Maybe she's she's just puffed out. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Fountain? Or what are they called? Fonts? Something like that. Oh, hang on. That's the key.